Hey everyone, it's uh, Glove Muffin and Beastcake here with another episode of Retro, and we have Mega Man Legends. Uh, we do, Kate, we do. Uh, tell me about it. Wow, so um, this is one of my favorite games of all time. I played the hell out of this game. It was like, I was like maybe seven, seven or so. This guy has a cool haircut. He has a very cool haircut, but I actually rented this game uh, and like I just fell in love with it. It was uh, it's it's different from other Mega Man games in that it's more of a dungeon crawler kind of game. Mm -hmm. uh, like old Mega Man games are all about sky scrolling stuff. Like oh, kill Doctor Wily. Oh, here's uh, Doctor Light and all that stuff. This is has nothing to do with any of that shit. The only person you got to worry about is Roll because she plays a big part in this. So okay. anyway, I didn't know the the damn software manual was on this, so I can like actually go through and it has like all this all the damn cool stuff in it that's pretty cool and it kind of i remember what like reading this stuff showing it to all my friends like oh look look there's all these cool characters uh so this is the kind of thing like <clears throat> like what well, actual paper to have if you know see a developer or at, like at pax you get it signed mm -hmm. so cool yeah it is pretty cool um uh most of this stuff here i think they say it in the other intro Uh, but basically, yeah, one day a well-known digger, Beryl Casket, found a baby in an archaeological site. He named the baby Mega Man Walnut. I don't even think that's how they spell it in the game. Walnut over there on the right. All I see is nut. <laughs> Ballnut. Years have passed. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, Roll's parents disappeared, so it's just basically them three. And their little pal, Data. Uh... I just kind of go through this stuff. That doesn't really matter about all the characters. Uh, we'll get to know them a little bit, I guess. Where is this game at in the series? Is this like a... So I think like in the lineage of all the Mega Man games, uh, this takes place like thousand years or something after oh, like shit. X, okay. yeah. I think. Uh, so like, but they, they don't really reference that. It kind of exists in its own thing. I can think of it as like a reboot. Mm -hmm. So all the other games were like... Uh, a 2D side scroller, so this was like the first game coming to 3D. Uh, so it kind of takes some like uh, ideas from from uh, Legend of Zelda, and that it, it's like, oh, you need to, you can't get past this area. You got to have the right weapon and stuff. So it's a lot of like a little bit of RPG stuff. You have a bunch of uh, uh, cool gun pieces, but uh, but yeah, basically, I'll just we'll go ahead and get started. I think there's a cutscene. Yeah. Um, that's going to kind of explain what the world's like. Okay. And then we're going to go to the main menu, and then there's another one. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ooh, look at that. It's a good sound. Love I know that. you didn't really I have a PS1. That. I did, yeah. You did? Yeah. Okay. Just never even heard of this game? No, I, yeah, I never got to. Like, it's always poor, so my parents <laughs> picked the game for me. But, like, I had all, like, the 007 games on PS1. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> Die, uh, I think uh, Die Tomorrow, whatever. Tomorrow never dies. Yeah, Tomorrow never dies. I only really remember there's a snow level in that. That's all I remember. Yeah, that's the beginning part. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> couldn't do it. I don't have a single a world covered by PS1 game. endless water. People are forced to eke out a living on the small patches of land that remain above the sea. The people of this world rely on ancient technology driven by quantum refractors, a powerful energy source. These refractors lie in ancient ruins underground and in the sea and are sought out by explorers called diggers. These brave explorers are the sole source of refractor energy, which has become a cornerstone of the emerging civilization. I don't know what any of these words meant when I first played this game. <laughs> Originally, this was cool the water. only yeah. purpose, to find Realistic. refractors so that civilization might endure. However, over the this guy years, sounds excited. the story of a fabulous treasure, the legendary Mother Lode, began to be whispered among <laughs> the Jesus. The Mother Lode, a treasure so great that if it were discovered, it would provide so much power that the world never need fear running out of energy. Seeking this mother load, 
diggers travel from one island to another in their flying machines, ever hoping that they'll find what they seek just over the horizon. Hope. I don't, I don't know what, like, I wish that meant something. Sure. I don't, what do all these words mean? <laughs> Duty. Power. Who can say what truly motivates the diggers? So, yeah, like, lots of water everywhere. But, I mean, this game takes place on, on one island. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this is where the serve bots come from, from uh, Dead Rising. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're, they're like minions, essentially. Gotcha. But, you know, way cooler. 97? 97, man. So it was, one of the, it was two years into the PlayStation. I was five years old. Jeez. I think you would have liked this game if you had came across it. So, yeah, there's just one more cutscene that kind of introduces the villains okay. in, in this series. Series, as in there's only three games, but <laughs> they never finish the story. That's another story. Until they canceled it, right? Yeah. 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 Very sad. But I think just a game that has voice acting in it just blew my fucking mind back then. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. <clears throat> All right, listen up. Drop everything and give me your undivided attention. In about an hour, we'll be arriving at our destination, Catalox Island. Double check your equipment readings and make sure everything's in working order. I want another flawless operation, same as the last one. Those jaggers. Treasure will be ours, or my name's not Bond. Let's do it. Let's do yeah, it. It's freaking Static X. <laughs> I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put smoothing on. See what it looks like. It's jaggies. Um, oh, the graphics great. aren't that bad, to be honest. For, for twelve or twelve, yeah, twenty-two years. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, let's. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, shit. Mega Man? Mega Man? Mega Man? Can you hear me? Just hear me. The transmission isn't too clear. I got worried because the transmission got cut off suddenly. I'm okay. I think this is the last door. Very anime, just so you know. I can tell by the eyes. <laughs> Very fucking anime. Whoa, it's still active. The reactor's still running. Great. What about the refractor? It's here. It's a big one, too. All right. Now maybe we can finally get some money. Be careful. It's shiny. Mm hmm I can tell I already love these sound effects. <laughs> kind of remind me of a uh, Bomberman sound effect. Yeah, yeah, okay, definitely. Isn't that Capcom too? Uh, I was gonna mention that. I just didn't know if it was Capcom. Well, this is like Indiana Jones. Yeah, exactly. I'm okay, well, I watched all of them on Netflix. Here. Sweet. Yeah, I haven't seen most. Something up on my screen. It looks like a Reaver boss. You better get out of there. Come on. Right. You see anything? Let me know. Here we go. Here we go. So uh, it's very like tank controlly. Uh, but oh, okay, okay. I like it better to where I can move, uh, kind of turn left and right with the L1 and R1. But uh, up, down, left, right, it just moves me around. So I can kind of trying to get used to these controls. But it has kind of like a lock-on thing too. And you like got my little pink buster. So there's no use of the analog, right? Because there was. Yeah, there's no. There was no analog on the PS1. Mm hmm. So. Wait a that second. Makes sense. There should be a around there somewhere. Can you see it? It looks like a small one. You should be able to take it down with your Buster gun. Left, right? On his left arm? Yeah. Or, yeah, my left arm. Yeah. Okay, so. Here we go. 
And this is your, like, money. Zenny. Where's your health at? On the, uh, on the left. Okay. It's those little, uh, like little squares. That Turn little battery. Right there. Can you see a door nearby? I do, but I want to kind of explore a little bit. That's a dead end. But like the map you can fill in too. And I was like super addicted with like filling out the map in oh, most of the dungeons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a Where are you going, Mega Man? That's not the right way. I don't like the... Maybe you better head back. I, I accidentally skipped it. Um, but I think there's like a trap or something here. It's pretty Game cool. over. <laughs> yeah, just die. But I always thought it was kind of cool to, to walk around. Oh, there's a fucking button. But it just pretty much just brings like these dice. Careful, Mega Man. It looks like you've gotten surrounded. I want yes, that nice. money. So yeah, like a lot of people gave it shit because it's like right? kind of clunky mm -hmm. <laughs> with like the camera. But I think it's still like considering it's an action game. First, like one of the first action games by Capcom. You know, I mean they were making Resident Evil at this time. So to think that they make like a cartoony Mega Man game, it's pretty cool. That should be the way out. It's not far from your current position. Okay. We've come a long way from video games. We really have, man. Watch out! There's something right in front of you. But yeah, roll kind of chimes in. So, but most of the time you're on your own, um, and it, you'll see her later on. She helps you a lot, out a lot. Like as a companion next to you, or just no, 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 like, like off you, screen. Yeah, well, you walk up to her. She's like, it's like an RPG. She's oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, she's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. Hold it! Don't move. Looks like it didn't see you. It looked like a reaver bot. We were lucky. You know what? I, you know what I played a lot on the PS One. Hmm. Oh my God, I played a lot of Frogger. Frogger, oh my like, God, yeah. Frogger 3D or something like that. I forgot. Uh, I, I can't even remember, but I, I remember playing that a lot. Quantum refractors are large crystals that provide energy for machines. They also can be used as currency. You might find an orange energy cube to recharge your life. But I like all the little sound effects. It's pretty cool. What is it, Mega Man? I'm picking up strong energy readers. Is it some kind of barrier? Is there a switch for the barrier anywhere close by? Don't give up. It's got to be around somewhere. It doesn't hurt you, but... Mega Man, I'm picking up a Reaver bot. Uh -oh. He's a fuzzy, watch out! What in the hell? Yeah, so that little red circle underneath my health bar, mm -hmm. that lets me know that somebody's spotted me. Oh, okay, okay. So it makes like a do it sound like a like they they see me, which gets pretty spooky later on. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I have a kick. So you got treasure. It's fucking. It's an RPG. <laughs> so yeah, here's the um, the RPG part of this game where you get these. Uh, uh, these buster parts. You can find them in dungeons and also buy them later on. But here, I can equip. You can buy them with uh, those little uh, crystals? You yeah, so you see up top, it says Zenny. Yeah. So that's how, how, oh, much, okay, how much okay. money I have, essentially. But yeah, here's like the little RPG elements. So you can just... Right now, I can only put two right on. So it increased my, obviously, attack plus one. Yeah, that is RPG. Elements. It's very RPG. Very basic, obviously. You know, for 97 games. For still, sure. Still really cool. Um, 
Yeah, so I should, the thing should be open now. The mo most of the games I played on the PS2 were just Mega more like I'm linear. Just from point A to all the way to point Z. Yeah, this is a little bit of open world. You'll see what I mean. Are you all right? Can you hear me? First boss fight. So what sucks is the lock on. I can't move while I'm locked on. Kind of oh, like uh, okay, okay, kind of yeah. like Resident Evil. Yeah. Got that guy. No problem. Easy peasy. Oh shit, that was easy. <laughs> he messed my shit up the first time I played this game. <laughs> I think I died the first time I played this game. <laughs> Fuck yeah. But yeah, these robots have just been. Oh, uh, after this cutscene. Yeah, okay. uh, have been what? The 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 Reaver bots. They're just kind of like they've always been underground, mm -hmm. and they just awaken uh, by people that come in and stuff. So just kind of got to be wary. We don't really know who built them. Oh, okay. Been underground for so long. Hmm. I wonder where Roar went. Oh Whoa. shit. Like, I don't know how we got out of their room, but... <laughs> I'm that elevator carrying. <laughs> I know. Back for more? Deuces. He just goes with them. <laughs> Roger. See you guys later. Got this cool fucking weird looking ship. I always wanted a model of this ship because it's. This guy is such in confusion. Yeah, it's like, what what's the going on? fuck? <laughs> yeah. See you later. Fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. Huh? Was... Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, just probably get this other cutscene out of the way. Does it just go straight like um, from level to level, or do you like you pause and it tells you uh, this? Is no, what you there's did. no levels or anything like so that. Just, right, it's just world? one whole thing. Yeah, that's cool. It, it kind of big departure from the other games that it came from. So. I think the only other Mega Man game I played at this time was like Mega Man X. Phew. Nice timing roll. Anytime, Mega Man. I'm sorry, Mega Man. I had some engine problems and it's okay, Roll. But I'm glad you showed up when you did. All's well that ends well, right? And we were able to get a refractor. We should be able to get by with that for a while. If only the mother load were as easy to find as this. Don't worry, we'll find it someday. And your parents, too. Thanks, I know we will. Oh, the engine's overheating. The smoke's so thick I can barely see. What? I guess the flutter's so small. worse than I thought. <laughs> Bro, the number five meters is going crazy. She can't take much more of this. Gramps, can you open up the number 11 valve again? Got it. We'd better find some place to sit down. Mega Man, check the map. There's an island called Cadlock about a hundred miles southwest. Good, Jack. Damn. Gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Kills the whole ship. Rolls a good pilot, man. I uh, like the whole. I, I just don't understand how they pilot a ship with the <laughs> like a a boat a thing. Ship. Yes. <laughs> I can't do much more by myself down here. 
Can somebody give me a hand? Sorry, Gramps, but my hands are a little full right now. Oh, I see it. Land ho! Come on, hold together. Just a little bit more. Hold on. I'm taking her down. Right. Looks like we made it, Jason. Nice. Uh. This looks pretty bad. I don't think it'll be safe to set foot in here for quite a while. Is that supposed We've to be a branch? We've been so hard. Yeah, I think Haven't so. Taking good enough oh yeah, that's us. true. I didn't really notice that. We'll just have to fix her up. <laughs> Just the texture. Like the repairs aren't going to be finished anytime soon. We'll be here for a while, I guess. We will be here for a while. This island, what do you call it, Mega Man? Cattle locks? Must have a town or a city somewhere. Think you could go take a look around? And the world opens up. So, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, uh, next episode we can definitely... Uh do more and explore more yeah for sure uh thanks everyone for joining us see you next time